In this video, I'll show you how to create a couple of nice and minimalistic sensor cards in Home Assistant. I know a lot of people think smart homes should be fully automated and dashboards are unnecessary, but I like data and I use my dashboard to display information about electricity prices and usage, weather, and sensor information from my car. The two cards in this video is scattered all over my dashboard, and I hope you can get some use out of them too. First card is pretty basic, but still nice. I start by creating a grid, set it to two columns, and I turn of render as squares. Then I add the custom button card. I add a name, an icon, a label, and I set show label to true. I also add an entity, in this example I use the local electricity price, and I set show state to false just in case. Time to set up styling. I add styling for card, IMG cell, icon, name and label. The card will just get my usual 20px padding. The IMG cell is the wrapper for the icon. This controls placement of the icon, so let's move it to the left by adding justify self start and a width and height. The icon also gets a width rule and a color. For the name and label, I just add basic font styling, as well as justify self-start. Something I always keep in mind when creating cards is to be consistent with font sizes between different cards. The overall look of your dashboard will be a lot nicer if font sizes, colors, and paddings are consistent. Then I change the label, and let's prepare the name to display our sensor information. You need the three square brackets as usual. The content of this card will of course depend on your needs, but I'll just show a real use example. I have a sensor that collects the current electricity price, and since I added this as an entity to the card, I can just use entity.state to display it. Then I can add a plus sign and some text inside apostrophes. This sensor comes with six decimal numbers, so I want to round it down a bit. If I add brackets around entity state, I can use math.round, and then multiply it by 100 inside the bracket, and divide it by 100 outside the bracket. That looks a bit nicer. Then I just want to do some finishing touches to the styling. I made a mistake earlier with the IMG cell height, so set that to 24 as well. Then I add some padding to the bottom of it. I also move it slightly to the left. I change the font size of the name to 16px, and both the name and label gets a padding up and down of 2px. Okay, that's sensor card one done. Let's create another one. Start by adding custom button card to a grid with two columns. Like usual, render as squares should be off. I add the exact same entity and name as the previous card, if you want to save some time, you could just copy it in now. Then I add an icon and a label, and I set show label to true again. The styling is also similar to the other example, but I will be using a grid this time. Add grid template, columns, rows, and areas to the grid styling. Add two apostrophes to areas, then add two quotation marks. Inside the first set of quotation marks, add I and N for icon and name. This means we will have two columns, add two new quotation marks next to the other one. This will be the second row. Inside it, type I and L. I again for icon and L for label. This means the icon will span two rows. Then we need to size the grid cells. We have two rows and two columns. The two rows will just be as small as possible. And for the columns, I set the left column to 40px and the other one to 1fr to fill the space. Then I can style the rest of the card. I don't think I need to explain all this code again, because it's pretty much exactly the same as the other card we created. Again, consistency is key. Then I just had to copy the name and entity from the first card to get the sensor with two decimal numbers. And that's both cards done. Lastly, a little trick. Go back into the editor of either card and add state option. Then set operator to template, and in the value ask if the entity is larger than one. This outputs true or false. You could then style the card based on the state of the sensor. In this example, if the operator outputs true, the background turns red, indicating we should try to use less electricity. All styling inside this state code overrides whatever other styling you have. You could also add more operators, so maybe the background is orange when the state is above one, and red when it's above two. I hope you learned something from this. I have these cards all over my dashboard. As always, if you just wanna grab the code, you'll find the link in the description. My next video will probably be a couple of weeks away. I won't be home over Christmas, so it's hard to make videos when away from the computer. Merry Christmas and see you again next year.